Not easy finding these hidden gem boys. Go back in my record and you can see that I am pretty good at picking coins. And I'm going to pick one right now that I think is going to do very well. It hasn't run yet this year. It's going to run. Part of Cardano's ecosystem. Does payments. Has utility. Has a max supply. Um, just upgraded now. They're doing a la layer two, so they're competition with every other layer two, which I keep telling you guys to look into layer twos because Ethereum's going to need them. But this is at a 90 million market cap, man. Okay. And like I said, the tokenomics aren't bad. There's a max supply and 65% of it's out. I look at this because the past performance, it's done well. It really has done well. And I do think Cardano has had a pretty good year. So I do think this is going to go up. It's just stuck right now. Um, I remember people saying right down here, like 30 cents, such a good buy, 30 cents, buy, 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 you know what I mean? So seven cents is definitely better than 35 cents, you know? And I mean, again, I like it because the community is actually pretty strong. I, you know, I, we, I made a video on what you should be looking for if you're going to invest in a crypto. Uh, top DeFi projects by social activity. Solana, a AVAX, HBAR, VChain. Hey, Cody's there, man. The little guy's there. So I like that, right? Like I just said, their community is very, very strong. Um, you can just tell by likes and stuff. And uh, roadmap for 2024, 2025 makes us very bullish for Cody. Everything coming together. V2 will be in... EVM compatible there too. There, yeah, breakthrough of crypto. Uh, whatever, dude. I'm not gonna read everything. I love this comment. Cody is a dead project. I sold all mine today, and I I should read the comments, but I'm not going to. He, you know, he probably couldn't wait, or he either bought too high, and he's seeing other coins, and he starts to panic, and he'll he'll go back, and he'll be like, "Man, why did I sell this? Because it hasn't even done anything yet." So I look for coins like this, even Ren. I don't even think Ren's run yet. So we have past performance. It's done well. This coin was definitely heading over towards a dollar in last bull run, but it stopped at 68 cents. That's why they were saying 30 cents was a good buy. You're buying this at 7 cents. It hasn't moved yet. Um, like I said, also good to see news articles about Cody because some cryptos, you just don't see it. So... Just another positive. Um, they actually have a pretty decent team. They just announced this V2 upgrade. If I can get into it. Yeah, I plan to uh, an Ethereum Layer 2 solution. Is this bullish for the price? They enhance Cody aims to enhance privacy and Web3 ecosystem with its V2 upgrades set to release in quarter two of 2024. The platform will use garbled circuits, a cryptographic technology claimed to be 10 times more efficient than zero knowledge tech. And then Cody CEO insists that sensitive data should not be public on a blockchain, a key feature of their upgrade. That's, that's really good, actually. I think that's good. I don't think people should be seeing some of your data. How will they tackle regulatory challenges? Uh, lately, the Ethereum Layer 2 narrative has been one of the favorites of the crypto community. The market has been flooded with Layer 2 solutions, such as established ones like Polygon, which I made money last bull run with that one, Arbitrum, Optimism, and some new entrants like Blast. You have Scale. I tweeted by Scale at $0.02. Cents. Cartesi. Astar is a Layer 2 now. Now we have Cody. I mean... Is crazy the competition, but we don't have to. Let's let's just see what they're doing. So, according to a press release shared with uh, B in Crypto, the Web3 digital infrastructure project Cody has structured the DevNet release of its V2 in the second quarter of 2024. Shortly after the DevNet launch, it plans a testnet and eventually the mainnet launch. It's to enhance privacy in the Web3 ecosystem. Indeed, transparency is one of the main pillars of the blockchain. However, Cody believes that certain sensitive information, such as the value of transactions, votes, and other data should, should be protected. And I think that's a good idea. I really do. Earlier, uh, the platform is facilitating an 
anonymity in crypto transactions such as Tornado Cash faced regulatory crackdowns. However, Cody wants to maintain compliance, so it will only allow sensitive information to remain private. Um, and the CEO said sensitive data transmitted as public information on a blockchain is a bug, not a feature. This isn't tolerated in legacy business systems, so why should it be tolerated on chain? Uh, Cody will solve uh, this, preventing sensitive data from being broadcast to competitors, partners, and clients. In doing this, it will also uh, it will allow businesses to capitalize on blockchain's many strengths and to access Web3 in a purpose-built environment that's optimized for speed, scalability, and performance. This is going to just talk about how it's breakthrough from its long-term resistance. Um, it went down all the way to three cents, so that's really crazy. Uh, there's a few other of my friends that are kind of bullish on this too, thinking this hasn't popped off yet. Uh, talking about twelve cents, and once it rips through twelve cents, man, it's going to really go up. So, um, again, dude, I try to just. Every everything in my life, I try to simplify. Both poker, fucking going to the store, taking a sh- shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? Everything like I could sit on the toilet and we use two things of toilet paper, then I'm gonna be done. You know what I mean? So, Cody, not a rug pull. Shown past performance. Tokenomics aren't bad. I just made a video about all this stuff. You know what I mean? Community is strong. Like. It checks so many boxes of, like, a pretty good investment. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I mean, a lot of bullish people, a lot of bullish people, a lot of hearts. Like I said, the community is super strong. I don't know, man. I would say that's a hidden gem, or it's just a gem that hasn't popped off. It's not hidden. It just just hasn't ran yet. Some of these coins, they go in cycles, man, like. The polka dot coins will run, then they stop. Then it's like Cardano's turn. It's weird how it works. But this is extremely undervalued, in my opinion. And I think it could do... I mean, it's not the sexiest pick. But it's it's something that's going to give you like a good return on investment. You know? So, just my opinion. I hope it helps. Um, hope that last video didn't scare you about crypto. I said it's a Ponzi scheme, but it's a profitable Ponzi scheme if you know what you're doing. So stay tuned, subscribe, anyone that has subscribed, love it, you guys are really awesome, dude, seriously, you guys hit the like button, you hit that subscribe button, it really means a lot to me, and uh, I hope good fortunes, good karma, all that stuff happens for you guys, so stay tuned.